Hey guys. So this is my first attempt to do a quick Mathematica tutorial to do a simple plot of a function. So let's say you have a function f of x. Let me just make the screen bigger. So you have function f of x equals to x cube. And you want to plot this function. So what you would do is you would click on to your next cell and go ahead and type plot and use this square brackets. And here you would uh, enter in the first slot your x components and then in the second slot you this is where you enter the limits for x x go from the minimum to the maximum to the maximum values and here we're just gonna put 0 and 10 for simplicity now let's see now you're finished, you want to execute the function, you hit shift, enter, and you see an output display. This is your plot. Here's your x axis, and here's the y axis. So, what if you want to label this, these axes? You can use the option axis label from Mathematica and use the dash arrow key and use brackets again and then instant instantaneously Mathematica will kn um, know that you're trying to draw an arrow here in the first slot you hit your x component label as x and the second one is y and shift enter to execute again and you can see it's been replotted and now it has the x and y label on the axes what if you want to plot two functions instead, like say your second function is f x equals to x minus 2, for example. And you want to plot in the same output display, on a single out output display. So here is a case where you want to use the brackets, the curly brackets. And then you can enter your second function, x minus 2. And then say you still have the same limit. And that's it. Shift enter to execute. Now here you can barely see the x. So let me change this to plus. Let's see if that makes uh, any difference. Uh, still, no. Let's just use X instead. Alright, shift enter. Whoa. Wrong, wrong cell. So that you don't want to execute these things, which doesn't mean anything. So you want to execute this one. Shift enter on this line and. Okay, let's say you have x squared instead. So these are the two functional plotting on this line. Notice how the different colors arrangement for these plot. You can modify these by using the option plot style. And using the curly uh, brackets again. First one red, second one let's say orange or blue or whatever. Shift enter to execute. And there you have it. So this Mathematica is pretty simple to use in comparison with MATLAB or something like that. And the help help function is pretty useful. Much more useful than the MATLAB one, I think. 
so this will conclude my first tutorial on how I use Mathematica. Alright, now I'm going to stop the recording.